YouTube, what's the righteous word? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman, I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. And we back with another video. So this is an interesting one, right? Now, we see all the stuff that was going on with um Rick Ross and Drake. Really, it was just a back and forth or not even a back and forth. It was just, you know, a diss track from Rose, bunch of trolling from Drake. You know what I'm saying? Um, Rose ended up going out to Toronto for uh, an event or something he was performing at and got attacked by some dudes. It was some Hell's Angels, allegedly. Um, and they try to say it come down from Drake, this, that, and the other, but Drake got some ties to the Hell's Angels and the history of the Hell's Angels and the Jamaicans in Toronto is a very rich one to say the least. And, um, this is just another example to me of almost, it's, it's, it's really like that culture vulture stuff that K Dot was talking about. It's like, bro, you got tied in with some people that you have no business being tied in with historically, your people. You know what I'm saying? Meaning the black people of Toronto never got along with these people. But again, Drake comes from a different side of things. Um, Drake was raised by his mother. He always talks about that. His dad wasn't really in his life. He was raised by his mother, who is a white woman. You know what I'm saying? So he came up a different kind of way, which is funny the way he talks in these records and this, that, and the other too. Because it's like, bro, we kind of, we know how you came up. You know what I mean? This is a guy who didn't say nigga in the... um in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't part of his lingo. That's something he developed. You know what I'm saying? Again, attaching itself to different things, but, um, we're going to get into this content, man. If this is your first time to the channel, please like subscribe, comment, and share, please. And thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link, follow me on Instagram, shoot me any content you want me to react to there. Also join up in the discord. We gaming in there doing watch parties about this, that, and the other. Hey, it's going up. Good people, positive vibes all the time. Smash that TikTok link for any content that I drop over there as well. Um, We're going to get into this, though. This was interesting, to say the least. I'm going to be real. The message that somebody sent me. Shout out to We Love Hip Hop, too. Um, I, I guess they're based in Canada. You know what I'm saying? Um, Toronto, I believe. And uh, th this is their podcast. You know what I'm saying? Shout them out. I want to get them credit for this, um, for this content. That mm. Drake got a message from the HAs. Did y'all did y'all ever hear something like that? No. Let me see if I. It might be in my phone because it's it could be in my uh, We Love Hip Hop DMs. Like a good message or a no? A warning. It, wasn't a, it was kind of a warning type of thing. Uh, let me see. Let me download this over here quick mm. fast. Okay. HA started here in Montreal, right? The, the, or yeah, I they've think they've been here. They're here. They've been they're here. here. Is it a Canadian? Because they're in the states too, no? Yeah, but they're different. There's more black bike gangs, too. There's a lot of black bike gangs, Mexican bike gangs in the States and stuff. So it's a little more diverse with it, right? But here, here they're like more, they're like they're the only more, one. They're the K I don't want to say nothing wrong, right? Man, they're the KK. <laughs> I, I, I just said the K, right? You went, you finished it. Right? I added the other two Ks. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so uh, I'm downloading this right now. <laughs> Man, they're the clam. <laughs> yeah, I probably could play it from here. You know what I mean? Tom. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay, okay you see that? Ryan. Remember that? Damien Brother. Ryan. Hmm? Remember? What? So, remember when I, I tell you to look up this person? Say it on mic, man. Hey, pay attention. Whatever bro is talking about, he really don't want to say on mic. You're going to see as this goes on, this dude is like tied in. His his pops was part of another gang out there in Toronto, so he knows the history of all this. You feel me? But the way this man is speaking on this dude who made this call from prison, this Hell's Angel dude, I think his name is um Damien, Damien Ryan or something like that. And uh, you could tell it's serious. You know what I'm saying? How, how bro, just the manner in which he speak about the whole situation, you can tell that it's serious. You feel me? I don't know what Drake is doing out there. <laughs> I'm going to just tell y'all. One time he want to be Yad man. Next time he want to be Yad, eh? And all that. I don't know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? But he playing a dangerous game. You know what I mean? It's like a Damien. This Damien character look serious. I don't know how it is out there in Toronto, but this nigga look and sound serious. Niggas talk about this is AI. I'm hearing, you know what I'm saying? 
I've got low ball confirmation that this is a real call. This is not no AI. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, y'all do what y'all want with that information. <laughs> <sighs> Remember when I was telling you to look up this person? Uh, when the first time when the the uh, the the mansion and the, the music video the shooting yeah 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 remember when i got the message first oh, i oh. knew he was gonna get this message Trick. now pay attention to what bro just said there remember when i got the call remember about the shooting at the mansion and woo, woo, woo. now if y'all remember i was doing coverage on this when this shit had happened too um you can go down in my uh on my page and look up the video or whatever. But I was doing coverage on this and everybody was like, you know, they was trying to lightweight sway it over. Oh, because the beef between Kendrick Lamar and um, Drake, it might have took a turn thinking that somebody was sliding for K-Dot in Toronto. But I had told y'all on here that I heard that this was some outside sources. You know what I'm saying? Low key, some hell, hell's angel stuff, and to hear this dude sit here and talk about how he got the call, basically just tying this together, is crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is real life shit. What's going on here? You know what I mean? Freaky ass man. He the 69 God. You're trying to take credit for shit that has nothing to do with you. You're a fucking quote chasing goof. Get off our tip. Woo. That don't even sound like how someone really talks though. That's the that's homie's voice. Was it AI or was it real? Like I don't know the you're amount of slang. Take credit for shit that has nothing to do with you. No, nah, that's real. You're a quote chasing goof. Yeah. No, you could hear the Canadian yeah, accent. Yeah, yeah, no, I heard. I was like the moment he said shit, I was like off. I mean, about that's about. <laughs> this guy's dangerous. So quote chasing goof. You see my boy right there. Look at my boy face right there. He said this guy's dangerous though. He's not, this is not a role. It's not an act champ playing here. Again, later on, you're going to hear what he talk about, about his peoples and this, that, and the other. Bro knows what's going on, man. Drake need to hire bro. What's up, G? He obviously know the lay of the land and you don't, bro. It's crazy because I've been thinking this nigga's like the king of Toronto or something. You know what I'm saying? Come to find out you don't know nothing about what's going on out there. Nothing at all. BBL Drizzy, golly, bro. Get off our tip. Okay. I feel like I'm delving into some territory now. Bro, Everybody turn this off. Yeah. Bro. Bro, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But no. the thing is, he's already shown, you know, his allegiance multiple times on Instagram. Like, he's posted shit like, hey, this is my, this is my homies. You know what? He's, <laughs> can I, I, I really need to say something. Talk to me. He's wrong. He's wrong for even ever aligning himself with that organization. Because if he, because just because he doesn't know in the 70s and 80s what Jamaicans and any black people had to go through dealing with these guys mm. back in the days, all right? Mm. Who come from Toronto and, and the GTA areas. His mom's white, right? My dad's black. My mom's black. My dad had his crew, right? Mm. I'm not going to say which one. But let me show you something. Them and us, we don't mix like that. You hear that? That sound very serious. This does not sound like this man is telling no lies. This sounds like a brother who's tapped into the soil where he was born and raised and understands how things go out there. He's not a transplant. You know what I'm saying? He's not uh, moving around, getting here, developing this culture here, going over there, uh, soaking up this culture here. No, this guy was born and raised in the soil. Both parents black, pops from the turf, had his crew, it's some crew that's out there. You know what I'm saying? He's letting you know what's going on here. This nigga Drake needs somebody informed like this part of OVO because y'all doing something wrong over there. I'm going to just tell you. All right. Yeah. And for him to even go that way, that's to show you why we're getting dealt with by the Americans because they know we're not even supposed to be dealing with them like that. All right. That's where he's showing the wrong side of our culture. You're showing a biker culture. You're showing white culture. That's not our culture when it comes to black people here. Show me. But again, this guy is being called a culture vulture. 
I think a lot of people get culture vulture misconstrued and they just think it's some white guy in a suit or some white guys with tattoos and kiwi heads who do porn and exploit the black talent on their platforms. But no, culture vultures come in many shapes, forms, fashions, creeds, ethnicities. You understand me? Straight up. And this guy is a culture vulture. He's being explained to you right here from people who's really from where he's from. Pay attention. And they were saying a lot of N words. <laughs> and, 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 and the one and the one half black and white guy was throwing around it the most and wiling out for his his colonizers the most. He's an idiot. I don't care who he is. Cat, mm. come here and talk to me. All right. Mm. But at the end of the day, I know why certain things happen like that. We've discussed it on the pod. Like sometimes you have no choice. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm guessing. Because yeah. why else would he co-sign a group that is openly professed, like kind of He's, white? Yeah, but this is what I'm uh, saying. Where alignment. He, someone's not talking to him and the brothers around him. I guess maybe their parents weren't involved in some real shit in the 70s and 80s. To know that they shouldn't even be on that. I'm side. sure there were, but it like, what are they be. gonna say? No, don't do it. They're not. The, they're not in charge. Come on, fam. I hear you. I they're hear gonna you. tell the. We're gonna tell the boy, don't do something, fam. Yeah, I'm a, if I'm a real friend, I'm gonna tell him, bro. That doesn't make sense for us. But what? I, another point that Kendrick drove home in them diss songs: you don't got no real niggas around you. You don't have any real friends. Why is that? Why don't you have anybody who is around you from the soil who really know you? or at least any loyal people who could tell you this kind of stuff. What's going on, BBL Drizzy? We've got questions. And you're, you're like in a position I, where it's like a threat and it's like, yo, what, don't do it. It's like, okay, well, now like, I'm going to have to deal with the repercussions. So, so, so what's the point of knowing all of these Jamaicans that are real steppers too? Hmm. What's the point then having all these yard men around you that are real steppers too? But why are you going to war with the HAs when you could just kind of like make your life? Them, no, no, no. You're it's not gonna, a lot of people are going to die. Like. I didn't say war with them. You didn't even have to be on their radar and start to go over to them and buy them bikes and do all types of stuff for them to make them still say no to your black ass. And that's what he does. Do you hear that? This nigga, this nigga Drizzy was buying the Hells Angels bikes for their loyalty. And they still don't accept him. But pay attention to what my man said. You put yourself on their radar, going over there, buying them bikes. This is what people do with money, too. I'm not going to lie to you. They try to purchase loyalty, purchase friendship, purchase alliances. This nigga's buying willy bikes and hogs for the Hells Angels. <laughs> I'm dead. BBO Drizzy. Will stop at no length. You hear me? To vulture these cultures. This is crazy. That's wild to me. This man said he was over there buying them bikes. Golly. This y'all king. And this y'all king. This the one who y'all be on the OVO knee pads rolling around. Glaze, glaze, glaze. This the guy y'all be glazing. That's crazy. That's where the clownery came, come, the coonery comes in. Right? I don't know no, the extent also, of their relationship. We have to also, we have to make sure to put onto this video here or this thing, this clip. We don't know if it's completely real or not, neither. It, that, that's what it, it sounds about. very real, mm -hmm. but like. Watch my man in the middle. Watch my man in the middle. It's a, it's a real recording, period. But watch my man in the middle. I don't know. And it's just an to, audio. Who but, sends you this? Like, um, you don't it, have to tell me. I'm not gonna, I don't. The name is pretty. It was like, I'm not going to say random, but it was like a, it was like a, a supporter. Right. But where it came from, as far as the, the video itself, it's on six. Hold fam, on. That's the man. He's just said, six act underscore TV. I don't know. So it's on. It's like this is posted somewhere. I didn't. I didn't take this like it's not something that was in somebody's DMs. Like this is posted on somebody's stories on one of these blog stories. You know what I'm saying? It's just a very a low key blog. It's not doesn't have as much. Actually, they have a lot of followers. I follow them and they have like forty four thousand followers, fam. You know what I'm saying? So this is out there in the world. I have personal friends that were in this organization and they're not in it now because they were lovers. And that's exactly what they were told. All right. Listen, from being from Montreal, I knew from back in the days, and I'll we'll get a little deeper into the street just quick, fast, and then we'll 
dip right back out. Yeah. But from being from Montreal from back in the days, I always knew that there was the racism aspect. Okay. That them them they, they don't like us. You know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah. Openly racism. Openly, now. right? However, what the way they used to use um people in Montreal is they would hire all of the brothers the in the gangs, the yeah. Haitians and stuff, as shooters. Shooters. Right? More expendable. You guys go do the time and it Thank was a high you. and not that's so the pawns. That's how they use the brothers in the Hells Angels as the pawns, the crash dummies. And this is the same organization that you want to buy bikes for. That's kind of crazy to me. But then again, it's not crazy when you got some kid who just grew up in Toronto. He don't know anything about the streets. He grew up with his white mother. Again, there's nothing wrong with having a white mother. But what I'm saying is you don't know anything about this shit that you speak about. You know what I'm saying? You don't know anything about this stuff, bro. This man is sitting here letting us know exactly how this shit goes. You feel me? This is These are the people that Drizzy decide to align himself with in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It's crazy. That's crazy, bro. This is culture vulturing at its best, if you ask me. I'm going to just be real with you. They look at us as crash dummies. You feel me? But Drizzy didn't know that because Drizzy's not tapped in like that. Don't let the slick lingo and all that shit fool y'all. I'm going to just be real. You know what I'm saying? Don't let act glazing <laughs> fool y'all. You know what I'm saying? This guy is not like that. He's just not. And it's not a diss or anything, but you just not like that. You didn't come from that. You don't know anything about that. And this is showing us clear as day. <laughs> That's crazy. Shooters, dealers and stuff too. All types of you stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like there was a hierarchy when it came to, when it comes to Montreal, most of the dealers, when they go and you go up the chain, you're going to bump into an HA somewhere up the line. Mm -hmm. Especially when you start getting into bigger weight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they've always had some kind of stronghold on the black community as well at, as not liking us at the same time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, so there's yeah. been a dicey relationship with them. So I could understand why some people would be like, Drake, why, why yeah, are you you're not supposed to be there? You're not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be there. Because even when I told my dad about this, mm. what's going on, and I, I'm around the Jamaican. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, real, they're like, oh, oh, what kind of idiot thing that? I never realized that that relationship that you just broke down, though, about the Toronto rela um, Jamaicans and the, the Hells Angel, I I can completely see it now when There's you mention a it. Big right? problem, right? brother. From like back in the days, like I'm big sure they used to with get that. crazy racist with each other. And, uh, <laughs> them used to, yo, you 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 want? I don't want to say too much, but you want to know why they're not they're not too many in Toronto. Think about it. We got a lot of, of black crazy power out here. Jamaican, them step on them crazy. Yeah. And they know it. That's why they have to go Alberta and them blood cap. Yes. I did a whole documentary on the Jamaican. Bro just said that the, that the Jamaicans out there, the Yadman in Toronto, ran them niggas out to Albany and uh, different other places back in the day when they was going through this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Again, this is just... A bit of Toronto history for y'all so y'all can know some shit that's going on. You know what I mean? Everybody want to talk about L.A. What we doing in L.A.? This Toronto, and this is the biggest rapper in the world, arguably, right? Straight up. And this is the type of shit that he's into. <laughs> Pay attention. We're the, the, mad the, man, dog. The Jamaican gang that really run, run over run here. Them out of this, and I'm telling you. <laughs> I won't you, mention it right now. <laughs> I, I won't mention it right now because I come from it. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah. how I know certain things. If I was in it, I couldn't do that. My uncle then would be calling like, eh, boy, yeah, that, yeah, that not make get, it. You'll get calls from back in Jamaica about that Oh, shit. here, my people, them here would be like, you can't do them thing that. And I make it. And I make that math ain't nothing, dog. Yeah. They're going to kill you in the long run. No, you're right. Because Toronto is a unique place. Like Montreal. It's good true. Have, yeah. And our black population is big, but not as big as over here. Exactly. When I moved here, I. You One of the it. first things I realized when I got on the phone when I first moved here in the 90s, mm. like I had a Jamaican lady on the other side at Bell Canada. Yeah. And that was like, yo, like I remember telling my people back in Montreal. Like, yeah. This, this is like, this is, I remember this it's like real. 20 something years later. Yo, 
there was a Jamaican lady on the on the uh, customer service for Bell for Bell Canada. Yeah, like that was a thing for me. Yeah, man. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that meant that there was a. Oh. It's ill. Pay attention to these niggas' jerseys because they got the OVO owl plastered on the side of the jersey, and it's just funny thinking about all this. It's crazy. It's crazy to even think that this man is tied to these people like this, and he just on the jersey for the Raptors. <laughs> I'm just saying that's a wild. A lot of black okay. people, and they get. I'm glad D Rose came home. Y'all didn't deserve him neither. Jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm and, saying? And in the in the 90s, 80s, 70s, metro mm -hmm. housing, mm -hmm. a lot of them were ran mm -hmm. by the bikers. Mm -hmm. So when we got here, what do you think we had to do? Had to take over. That's a run them blood clot out. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of things this guy, Drake, does not know about our city, and he has to sit back sometimes. I start asking some more goddamn questions and see if that is even the right thing to do. Yeah. Because what you're doing now is he doesn't even know subconsciously, but consciously, he did not send those guys for Rick Ross. Yes. But he didn't everybody send them. is saying your black ass sent them. But the problem. And pay attention because they don't like that because don't know nigga. Run the Hells Angels. I be trying to tell y'all about these politics everywhere. Y'all think that niggas could just do this and just do that. They're a whole, whole organization who don't like niggas. And you think that they take kindly that some light-skinned, dancing, jiggy nigga is taking credit for sending them on a mission to Rick Ross? Pay attention, y'all. Pay attention. The problem is, it's not only that. It's because he's liked, and he liked the comment on 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 my page. Yeah, but not the comment, the um the post of Rick. Yeah. Pay attention to how petty this nigga Drake is too, and then he likes the comment on every single person's social media platform. That's kind of crazy. Like boy got a lot of time. I'm just saying, the boy got a lot of time. Yeah. But he liked it on academics. He liked it on different people's pages. Yeah. That's a cosign for a lot of people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, um, Uncle Luke. He had comments not about Drake saying something or, you know, feeling like he sent the guys. He was said about liking the post. post. You're not supposed to like it, bro. Like, I, not I'm, I'll, I'll take it because it gets. But Drake is not street. Another point that K-Dot was trying to drive home for y'all. The nigga's not street, bro. He doesn't know that. Oh, I should just leave that alone. Don't like that. No, his petty meter is busting through the roof. So he had to go to every platform and like it. Pay attention, man. Do your homework on niggas who's not from the streets trying to play in the streets. It's traction, blah, 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 blah. But from a, if I was you, I probably wouldn't need it. I wouldn't have liked it. You know what I'm saying? Because someone would have sat you down and said, so what, you're condoning that? These, these Vikings were there calling another black man <laughs> eating the shit out of them. Hmm. Yeah, salute to Justin Hunt, um, the company man. Uh, I did an interview on his channel um, last week or a couple weeks ago now, yeah. right? He could not get off of that point. When we were reviewing the Rick Ross video, yeah, he's, and he's like a black American, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dog. He was like, yeah, the fight, like we were talking about the fight, but the, the these guys saying the, the N-word like that, bro, just throwing all kind of nigga, 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 nigga the yeah, whole time. Bro. He He was stuck on that, man. He's like, Y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all allowed that out here? Y'all allowed? You're cool with that? Well, you gotta imagine, huh, like I've said before, rap in Canada is white, so there's no we allowing nothing. It just it's guanin. There's no regulation. <laughs> there's no system. regulations yeah. or nothing. It's just guanin, dog. That's yo, why. That's yo, why. He was I'm, hurt though, yeah. bro. Like he could not get past that part of the video, fam. That sounds crazy. The rap culture in Canada is white. So they just run the rap culture out there and they could just run the word nigga if they want to. That's kind of crazy. That sounds wild to me. That sounds absolutely wild. I ain't even gonna lie. I was laughing at first, but you know what happened to me? A, a white person made me actually realize that. Well, yo, how many times they're gonna say a nigga like that, bro? If that was Toronto, that couldn't happen. Yeah. Whatever. If that was America, and let's just say it was Drake's ass in that position, I guarantee you, black people would have turned around and helped that ma help Drake and his people. Facts. I'm guaranteeing you. Facts. Mm. Because they go through it, right now. 
That would have been like the boat uh, incident. Thank you. Yeah, too. Drake would have threw the hat in the air and all of us would have started coming. <laughs> Do some, right? If it's in America. From a barbecue down the corner, everything. That's to show you again. Yeah. Unity, culture. It We lose, bro. We lose in the fight. Bad, bad, bad to these guys. And he was outnumbered. Like, he was just like one. He looked like just a couple of black people in an ocean of white people over there in Vancouver. Over here is going to be a different kind of dynamic. Yeah. You'll see way more different nationalities. But over there, it just looked like bare white people and, and Ross and, and his people. And, and, <laughs> two, and, two, and two black guys who are with the white guys going off with them. Yeah. It, 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 those, those. Shame on them niggas. Because I saw them too in that video. Shame on you niggas. Those two black guys are like five black guys in total in total. the crowd. What? Out of ten, you see two. That would have been a different demographic over here. Right? And then, yeah. and, and then you know what? There would have probably been at least 10 people trying to stop that. Yeah. Stopping it because of the fact that you're, because money is on the line. Well, like, listen, you, what do y'all, well, the thing is with this whole thing with, with Drizzy and this message, do you think that the relationship isn't as strong as we think? No, that's, a, that, that's what you do when you're trying to deflect something. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna make it look like I have no association to you. We don't give a shit about you. We don't like we don't like you blackies or nothing, but really deep down inside we're hanging with you. Could be. Right? It could be that way. But from my knowledge of who I know and what I know from them type of thing things and mm. and that that same that same damn name is very serious. Mm. Um nah, that's a serious thing. And that's where we go in the video again, man. Um I just want to say this just all sounds crazy. I thought it was interesting. I thought it would be interesting for y'all because this is just another aspect of things. Again, uh, I just said earlier, you know, y'all like the um, L.A. politics and all this. And y'all like New York politics and, and Chirac. Y'all like that stuff. But this is the biggest rapper in the world. And these are his politics. Right. These are politics that he really don't know anything about. At all. And you could tell again. What black person would align themselves with an organization like this, where historically they haven't done anything but treat our people like trash, like crash dummies. You feel me? You just heard what my man said, like, yo, they, they would mess with some black folks and they would be the ones who was serving a work. They was the ones who was, you know, what I'm saying the shooters. You know what I mean? Hire the niggas as the crash out dummies. You feel me? But he don't know anything about this. Again, my man talking about in Toronto how the Jamaicans had to run them up out of there because they was doing them so bad. And now it's all good. You know what I'm saying? The Hells Angels are up out of there for the most part. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they're the majority. You know what I mean? But that's a serious thing. That's the that's in the fabric of Toronto culture over there. You hear what I'm saying? And again, Drake don't know nothing about this. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. Nigga want to be wearing the, the jersey and say, yeah, I'm a hell's angel. You's a goofball. What is it, the braids? Golly. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, please. And thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you could go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram for any content I post over there. Also, join up in the Discord. Good people in the Discord. Positive people all the time, man. We be doing events in there, niggas in there streaming. I'm gonna be in there today too, gaming on that uh, Call of Duty. Um, also, smash the TikTok link for any content that I post up over there. Y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think of this video. I thought this was super interesting. You know what I'm saying? Just to delve into a little bit of his politics because he got a lot going on. Even the whole shooting thing. You know what I'm saying? That shooting didn't have nothing to do with K Dot and had everything to do with. Him and his relationship with the Hell's Angels. Remember that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think of this. Um, for anybody who's looking for any type of help growing their social media, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, contact at Drea the Virgo on Instagram. Again, that's at Drea the Virgo on Instagram. She working with a plethora of content creators, helping them get their numbers up, helping them with their um their impressions. She come through your analytics, tell you what you need to do to um, succeed in this here content creation game. You feel me? Again, that's at Drea 
the Virgo on Instagram. Serious inquiries only. Thank you. But y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think of this. It's your boy Gang Lenin. Peace.